If I'm growing in Rockwell or any medium, I only want to flood about a quarter of the way up the cube. And what I've done here is I've put our overflow at slightly above quarter of the way up the cube. Right? As this drain floods, the maximum amount of water available in this whole table, because the table is completely level, is this height right here. But how Rockwell works is through capillary action, it wicks up the moisture. When it's wicking up this moisture, it's actually pushing out stale air. Pump turns off, the table drains back through the original hose, and this starts to dry out, which also then pulls fresh oxygen back into the cube. Nutrients and water drain back out of this. It all goes back to the reservoir, so we're reclaiming all the water, there's no waste. This is one of the beautiful things about hydroponics is the more air to water ratio, the healthier the plants, the faster they're gonna grow. And if we can control the irrigation cycles properly, you're gonna guarantee the healthiest crop possible. You do want some variation in pH, but we're gonna be running right around uh, five, eight to six, three, six for a pH in full hydroponics is a good number to aim for but we're gonna allow for some pH swing. The plant determines that, and we're gonna be replacing and replenishing all the nutrients once, once every five days to guarantee maximum health of these plants and guarantee that they're getting everything that they want. We're putting a little bit of an insurance policy in with, with a, a flood and drain kit, okay? Because if the pump timer or something fails, and that pump continues to empty the reservoir, it's really important to have a, uh, a fail-safe. And that fail-safe is gonna guarantee that as the table fills with water, it can only fill to a maximum, which is why I'm putting a one-inch through-hole beside it with a riser. That riser is gonna guarantee that water can only fill so much, regardless of how long the pump runs. But uh, we're gonna be putting them side by side. Center it. You only have one opportunity to get this right. If you, you drill a hole in this plastic in the wrong space, this drain is gonna be going back to the reservoir. When this floods, it drains back through the existing line. And I want to guarantee that this table drains fully. So it's gonna flood and drain through the same hose. If it fills up through here, water hits the top, floods, and then pump turns off, and it all drains back through the, the same hose. So we're gonna throw that in right now. gasket on there and that is there to guarantee that it does not leak. So put that through and throw a gasket on the bottom side. That's how simple this system is to set up. This is our insurance policy and I don't want because if we don't have this pipe in what happens is flood 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 water can continue. I only want to go about a quarter way up the cube. So if my cube is sitting here, and I know that it's a six inch block, I want to go about that high. So now, when we flood this table, the maximum amount of height that the water can go to is right here, regardless of timers. So typically, a timer will say, I know I can flood this table in this amount of time, you know, uh, a minute and 10 seconds, we'll fill this whole table, and then the timer turns off and it starts to drain. But if that timer fails, if it floods for too long, I have a safety here. And this safety then gets plumbed with a one inch hose 
going right back to the reservoir. And the reason why I'm feeding with a three quarter and draining with a one inch, I wanna make sure that the flow going back is faster than the flow going in because obviously, if you have more being pumped in the table and it can't keep up, you'll end up flooding the table. So this is important. Because of this being level, the water will be equal across the whole root system. But that's ultimately how a flood and drain system works. It's the easiest, most simple hydroponic system. There's a few things to take into account, guaranteeing that you have the overflow, guaranteeing you have the proper filters. Uh, Botanicare make a really nice uh, ebb and flow kit. It's a very simple, clean system, and uh, it's one of my favorites. Once that's done, uh, let's get going.